summertime reminds me of a boat on a river drifting through the canyon under clear mountain skies. Sunlight beams across the water in the distance. The thoughts of evening shadows bring a tear to my eye. Reminds me of a river. I can remember. I'm Jim Temple, and uh, I'm the owner and operator and inventor of the Confluence Raft Frame picture that you see in the picture here. Uh, had a lot of experience rafting, 14 years of it, on a lot of different rivers in many states. The Upper Colorado River in Colorado, uh, the Colorado uh, River down through Cataract Canyon in Utah. Uh, the Green River through Grays and Desolation Canyon and through Dinosaur National Monument and Gates of Lador. Uh, the Yamper River was one of those rivers as well. Uh, Wyoming, we ran Northgate Canyon uh, on the North Platte River. And my favorite, the salmon in Idaho. Maine salmon was the last one that The reason I invented this frame fixture system for wrap frames was that in the outfitting business, you were constantly transporting, storing, uh, trying to improve your accessories that you had on a raft frame and make them stronger and lighter as you could. So this is why we ended up with what we did here and we'll be showing you later. We provide these fixtures in two different materials. First of all, aluminum, very high strength aluminum, has socket in it to plug in main rail frames and cross rail, as well as, as uh, accessories. Very strong. They do need to have a padding on it, such as carpet or ethylene, uh, so that it will not mar the finish in your boat, uh, because aluminum does that. It leaves black marks. Another thing that we have here is called a knuckle. These are made for two different pipe sizes the inch and a half and the inch and a quarter pipe. It has a socket here that can be drilled and pinned and this is held onto the main rail by pipe clamps. It can be drilled and pinned as well but we find that pipe clamps are sufficient to do that. We also provide this in plastic. Uh, I always prefer the aluminum because I like strong things. That's very strong in its, in its own right. But it's just a matter of choice. This particular frame fixture here is out of plastic. It's a high industrial strength type polymer. And this particular fixture does not need to be padded. It's basically uh, the same uh, construction except has a divot out of each side does not uh, lend itself to making it weaker, but it's a little more attractive. These plastic parts can be molded in about six or eight different colors of your choice. Uh, the cross tubes and pins are held together with a simple clip pin, spring pin uh, arrangement. You'll see on the end that we have our name on this, and we have a one inch diameter hole, which floors can be suspended or gear can be tied down. It can be further reinforced uh, as far as carrying ammo boxes, toilets, any other gear that you would carry on the This boat. is a 15 foot Vanguard boat that uh, this frame is featured on. I'm really impressed with the boat. Um, they have a very high re reliability rate their floors are inflatable, but bail, you do not need to bail them. They're self-bailing. And they're rigid enough to stand up and fish out of or whatever you need to do. This particular frame has a lot of accessories on it uh, that we do not manufacture, but provide the sockets that they can plug into. This, for example, is a fishing frame where you can stand in the front between these two towers or horns for stability. There's another case where J2 Knuckle is, is uh, featured here supporting this. 
by the hose clamps. If you wanted to, you could drill a hole in here and, and put a bolt or a pin. This particular accessory is not absolutely necessary, but I always prefer these. Uh, this hole in the fixture provides a place to put a snap that suspends the floor with nylon strapping. This area here can be used to tie down toilets, portable toilets, gear, ammo boxes, waterproof boxes, so on. Um, the next thing here in line is a push-off bar that can be adjusted. It has the J2 knuckle featured. It can be loosened and slid to fit the uh, rower and uh, can you cut her off. This is another accessory that uh, can be provided on this boat. You notice that it rotates up out of the way. You can screw our coolers down here on the affordable floor, the suspended floor. Move the chair forward to get into your cooler. Put it back, it's suspended there. You could put another waterproof box in there as well. Another accessory that is the rear fishing chair. You notice that there was a socket here uh, that employs the use of that. It's pinned into position. It rests on the tube. It's got a swivel fishing chair where you can face forward, sideward, backward while you're fishing or stored away. You can also have bent pipe type in, in this shape only a little longer that will employ a motor mount or a transom that goes on the back of the raft. I don't have one shown here, but uh, use your ingenuity. You can come up with a lot of different things. Locks and towers are supplied by another equipment uh, outfitter. And uh, they're supported by what's called a Hollander fitting. They've been quite popular in the rafting world. We can adapt our J2 knuckles to an ore tower support by hose clamping them or even drilling a hole through and putting a bolt or a pin through it and then putting a pin through the stud that supports the ore tower. Okay, this is the outside stringer that is the backbone of the holding the whole thing together, all the fixtures together. If you so wish, you notice here that we have a half inside rail and the back half inside rail. You could eliminate the inside rail and put a completely full rail system to make a double rail system that you see some frames incorporate. I myself think that the single outside rail is sufficient for 99% of the rivers that you run into. This is just it's a little more bomb proof and maybe add a little more weight to it but it is good. The end of the film uh, shows you how, by the use of the plastic uh, fixture, when taken apart, how easy they are to compact and store. These are the rail frames and cross tube and the push off wire. And that's about as much room as it takes. Uh, the only thing it isn't shown here is your ore towers, which would be added to the side rail. So it makes it pretty. Transportable and okay, we're storable. We're going to remove the suspended floor by just putting a little upward pressure on it and then snapping the snap ring. a generic raft. Now one thing I might add, these spaces where the cross tubes once were, you can replace those cross tubes by inserting a waterproof aluminum box. Okay, we're going to further break this frame down by pulling all the outside pins. Remember to hang on to these and not lose them, but we'll put them in a little pile on each side. Okay, Brooks, let's take this part and pull it forward.
Now these pins can be pulled also and these taken off. For simplicity, we're gonna leave it the way it is. Put those there. And we'll pull this main rail. Now I want to emphasize that all these cross pipes or tubes can all be repinned and broken down to the original uh, pile of equipment that you saw with the plastic fixtures earlier. So this is just the simplest form and then beyond that even simpler. Now there's a very basic frame. Uh, you can add another cross rail or two just by using the knuckles and the clamps. Use that long one. Yep. Um, Summertime reminds me of a boat on a river Drifting through a canyon under clear mountain skies Sunlight beams across the water in the distance The thoughts of evening shadows bring a tear to my eye Reminds me of a river I can remember I'm going back someday 